Shalom, sister, shalom, kohalo, yahweh, b'ashem, hamashiach, b'amalak, yabashai, all honor and glory to yahweh, b'ashem, yahweh, shayah, all praises to the most high, the most high, so merciful. I was reading um, Esther, and I was just thinking, like, just meditating on how the most high is just so merciful. Like, just the past couple of days, you know, sometimes you can get caught up in you know, your life, whether it be your children, your kids, you know, your, your husband, work, um, etc. You know, family members, you know, you get caught up in your day to day life. You know, you don't ever want to forget, you know, how merciful the most high is to us in this captivity, you know, blessing us with his word, most importantly, and not consuming us because, you know, we should have been dead a long time ago. And going over Esther, I think this is the ninth chapter. Yeah, this is the ninth chapter. And just reading this account, it's just like, you know, all all honor and glory to you, how Bashim Yashai, all praises. But I just wanted to read. This is uh, Esther 9, 19 uh, through 22, because Purim is here, Lord willing, Purim is going to be um, sundown. And so lucky, y'all. Happy uh, destruction of Nicanor. So that's right now. So we're able to cook right now for the destruction in Nicanor and uh, feast, you know, again, when the sun goes down for Purim. All right, but let's just get into it. Therefore, the Jews of the villages that dwelt in the unwallowed towns made the 14th day of the month of Adar a day of gladness and feasting and a good day and sending and of sending portions one to another. And Mordecai wrote these things and sent letters unto all the Jews that were in the provinces of the king Ahasuerus, both nigh and far to establish this among them that they should keep the 14th day of the month of Adar and the fourth so like in the 15th day of the same yearly as the days wherein the Jews rested from their enemies and the month which has so like which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy and from mourning into a good day that they should make them days of feasting and joy and of sending portions one to another and gifts to the poor so all praises on our glory to how about Shimei Al Shai. It's supposed to be a beautiful day to, you know, send portions one to another. You know, whether it be wine, incense, whatever gifts you may have for another household, another family, sister, etc. You know, sending gifts and portions one to another. And how our day of mourning in that time period went, the Lord kind of just flipped it to a day of feasting. You know, because Israel will be called upon the name of the Lord and we fast and we pray and the Lord delivered us and that's the Lord ultimately being merciful to us and that's the same type of mercy that the Lord bestows upon us now and that same type of mercy that we want to ask the Lord to continue to give us in these last days Lamentations 3 and 22 and 23 it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So, you know, the Lord being merciful, the Lord being, you know, compassionate to us, despite, you know, all the things that we've done, you know, and I was just uh, watching some kids show and it was going over Exodus, just about how terrible we was as a people, you know, just asking Aaron to make that golden staff, I mean, that golden calf. While Moses was like, he asked Aaron to make that golden calf while Moses was away. Like the Lord could have literally been destroyed, you know, the whole house of Israel. But the Lord is faithful to, you know, what he promised Abraham at the end of the day. So all praises to the Most High, y'all. This is just really a day of really meditating on everything and um, praising and giving honor and glory to Yahweh Shimei Shai. And the sister brought out in a sister call about how the story of Esther reminded her of the story of Joshua. And that also led me to think about how it also reminds me of the story of uh, Daniel. You know, the Lord always have, you know, Israel at a high estate, even when we're at our lowest, you know, just so that we're able to help our people. So if you're ever in a if you're ever in a position to help your people, then that's what you, you should be doing. You should be fasting and praying for your people like Esther. You know, trying to help your people like Joshua, like Daniel. All right, but this is Psalms 145, 8 and 9. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great 
and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. So call you how about you shy again? The Lord is full of compassion. Full of compassion. Luke 18 and 13, and the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Please, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, be merciful unto me. Be merciful unto my household. Be merciful to the house of Israel. Okay, so, you know, that's just something to meditate on is, you know, the Most High's mercies and being grateful, you know, that the Most High is so merciful to us because. You know, he doesn't have to be. He didn't have to if he really, he doesn't have to do anything for us. Not to, you know, allow us to celebrate the Sabbath or the feast days. We could have been, you know, consumed. But, you know, his compassion and mercy, you know, fails not for the house of Israel. And I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know, you know, continue to be grateful and continue to, you know, ask the most high for mercy because it could always be worse. We could have been dead a long time ago. You know, we are yet this day in our captivity, like Baruch said, and we're subject to payments because we went off. We're an off people. You know, we sin every day. Our righteousness as is filthy rags. We go off. We're an off people every single day. Our thoughts are off. The things we do, we just, we're off. You know, that's why we have to repent daily. Hebrews 4 and 16 let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So that's just plain as day. You know, ask the Most High to continue to bless us with mercy so that he can bestow grace upon us in a time of need, in Jacob's trouble. You know, and a part of asking the Most High to be merciful to you is also asking the Most High to bless you with more and more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So that wisdom can be the stability of our times. All right? All right? And ask the Most High to be merciful to us. But don't let your sins weigh you down. But um, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick little video for y'all. And Lord willing, y'all have a beautiful day through the Spirit. I know some sisters are celebrating Passover. So, Kohaloi, how about... So like you so call hello you how about Shimia Shai sisters Lord willing y'all had a beautiful Passover Sabbath day uh Purim uh destruction of Nicanor whatever you celebrating all praises to the most high I love y'all keep enduring Shalom.